Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review The Legend of the Psychotic Forest Ranger. Only you can prevent forest fires. Written and directed by Brad Mills and distributed by Black Fawn Distribution, this movie is about a group of teenagers that venture off into the woods and run into a psychotic forest ranger. So what do we like about this movie? I like the forest ranger. His laugh was hilarious. <laughs> The way that he talked, it's like he was a news broadcaster or something. I think you left something at your campsite. Yeah, he just had this awesome presence about him. One of the first times we saw the silhouette of him, it almost looked like Freddy Krueger. Like it had that kind of feel to it. I really liked the cast. Like there was eight teens. Each one played a really cool and hilarious part. Yeah, he's always playing these stupid practical jokes on us. That must suck. <laughs> the whole movie was just throwing it in the face of your typical slasher. We're a group of kids going on a fishing trip for the weekend. All we want to do is drink, party, and have fun. The way that they put themselves in stupid situations, it was just fucking hilarious. So funny, I forgot to laugh. I love the, uh, the variety of kills they had. There was like the use of sticks, the use of fire, uh, the use of bear traps. So many different kills, I loved it. Even though most of the deaths were off screen, they still went back and showed the blood and the guts on some of them and what they showed was really nice. What was cool about this was the location that it was shot at. They were out in the woods and they only had one cabin, but they made the most out of it. Yeah, it was really easy to kind of figure out where they were in the movie. And I liked how they explained a couple of the sets that were random, but with one-liners like, I can't believe we found this waterfall. The last thing I think we should touch on for likes is the music. It was super cheesy, but awesome. And I found out in the credits that I went to high school with one of the guys, Ed Kramer, who's part of the Danger Bees, and the Danger Bees <laughs> did most of the music. I already liked the music, and then I saw that, I'm like, no fucking way! Now it's time for our favorite kills. I'll start us off because mine's not actually a kill, but it's a really cool scene. Ranger Dan meets the psychotic ranger for the first time. And then he just snaps Ranger Dan's arm. And then he snaps Ranger Dan's other arm, snaps his back, which looked really real, and then went on to snap his legs reverse style. And like all the one-liners were absolutely hilarious. <laughs> My favorite kill is when Chrissy went out to Brent's car to find the dish detergent. When she's trying to get into the trunk of his car, she gets spooked and she thinks that the uh, the prowler is out there, so she jumps into the car. The forest ranger is right next to her. <laughs> He's holding the keys. I think this is the one you're looking for. You just see like his the stabbing motion and then blood is just squirting into his laughing face for like a long time. I think I found the key to your heart. <laughs> My favorite kill is Brent sees the psychotic forest Forest Ranger. And you see Brent, like, he punches him a few times and he throws a Hadouken or something in his stomach. I'm pretty sure he did like a, a Liu Kang dragon <laughs> kick. And then the Psychotic Ranger doesn't give a shit. Get a life! No. No. And just launches this log right through him. And this is one of the few on-screen kills of the movie where you see it basically go right through him using clever camera work. Now for the dislikes. For something that's gonna be as campy as this is and mock those 80s slashers. 80s slashers had a lot more on-screen kills with more practical effects than this one did. And they did have the makeup, I just don't know why they didn't show all of them on screen if they already had that makeup. Using some clever camera work and cutting really fast, they could have made it look like on-screen kills. I didn't like when the cop showed up at the end of the movie. I heard shots coming from this area. They're very far away from all civilization. So the fact that a cop heard it kind of didn't make much sense. I also disliked that the original forest ranger that died at the beginning was still alive at the very end with his crazy big cell phone. Like well, that Guys, line. I feel your dislikes are not dislikes. These guys made those things to piss you off. Uh, They're trolling you. Okay. He's not going to pick up anything with a broken arm. <laughs> I mean, and the guy, obviously, they already said they're 20 miles away from anyone. <laughs> of course, in every horror movie, they're like, Oh yeah, I heard some gunshots. Thought I'd come running. What were our final thoughts and ratings? Originally when I saw the trailer, this was a few months ago, and I just 
hated this movie. I told Jay, you can watch this one. I'll just skip this one. But after watching it, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I love the campiness. The throwbacks were amazing. It was funny the whole way through. It was great. I'm going to give this movie 4.5 perfectly good marshmallow sticks tossed away out of 5. So I've wanted to watch this movie for a long time now, and we finally got to sit down and watch it. And it was fucking awesome. They did the awesome 80s, early 90s schlock to a T with all the campy one-liners and the awkward ADR and all the audio was just perfect. Well, they could have done a, a few more on-screen kills, I think they really nailed the 80s slasher feel. So I'm gonna give this 4.8 peaking Scooby-Doo heads out of five. I really enjoyed this movie. It was campy. The killer as the psychotic forest ranger was absolutely hilarious in all of his kills. There was like nothing I really hated about this movie other than the fact that we didn't get any on-screen kills. Other than that, this movie was perfect. So that being said, I'm going to give this movie four and a half sets of of flashlights out of five. I'll show you flashlights. Uh -huh. That's what we thought about the movie. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. Like this video, sub to the channel, and hit us up on Twitter at bloodbath underscore TV. Mm -hmm.